Welcome guys in another lecture of data analytics using Altrix. In previous lecture we saw how to install Altrix on your local machine. Now in this lecture we are going to start with our first lesson in data analytics. So let me jump on to the Altrix designer desktop. So this is how your Altrix designer desktop will look like. So there is one workflow configuration here. There is the main canvas on which we are going to bring all the tools and then to perform the data analytics this is the result window and in the above there is menu then there are certain tools and there are certain tabs also so basically what we will do we will start with using one tool at a time and then learning rather than going on to the every tool and getting a summary of all that and mugging up all that so in today's lecture what we are going to do we are going to learn how to read a data how to import a data and how to basically analyze the data using Altrix so our first lecture today is going to how to read import and analyze the basics of data and in this way we are going to see how this tool actually looks like okay so here if you see this is a favorite tab now in favorites tab there are certain tools which are most commonly used all these tools are distributed in these tabs in specific tabs but in favorites it is the collection of some more commonly used tools so the first tool that we are going to use is input data now how to select this input data you can drag it here like this okay if you click on this it will give you a summary of the uh, operation what this tool do another way of bringing this tool is to right click insert okay so you can right click and then insert and you can also select from here so there are these are the methods again there is one more method the search bar write input tool on the search bar and it will appear here so you can drag like this okay so these are some methods through which you can drag a tool onto the canvas again remember these methods these methods can be asked in your Altrix exam. Mike, there are two exams which Altrix offers. There are three actually free exams which Altrix offer. Now this is one micro credential basic foundation exam. Then there is designer core exam and then there is some advanced exam. All these three are free and these types of questions are generally asked in those. So this is one thing. Now you can select it and you can click on delete button so it will get deleted you see here a red exclamation mark it is saying it means there is some error actually when you get this red exclamation mark it means that there is some error like here it is saying that a file must be specified okay so let's click on this and get some file some input data that is how to import the data so when I click on this box, this workflow window changes and here it is saying connect a file or database. Basically this is the button from where I am going to select the input data. So let's click on this and here are several options. I am going to this files section. Now there are supported file types which you can select and import basically we mostly deal with xlsx that is excel file and csv file so to begin with this tutorial today i am going to import the xlsx file so here it is written microsoft excel dot xlsx also you can click on this button select file and it will also help you to import the required file so let's click on this okay so I have got several files here these all are excel sheets okay so let me click on this iris data set 
when I click on this iris data set and click on open this box will open now what this box is saying this box is saying that inside Excel there are several sheet tabs sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 so it is saying which sheet I want to select you can click on this and see how many sheets are available like in my case there are no extra sheet only one sheet one is there and its name is iris so I've select I'm going to select that only then click on OK and now if you see here the first hundred records are available here let's click on this run button and see okay so when I click on this run button this result window shows the data which is available inside this Excel sheet so basically it is saying that 6 of 6 field it means that 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are 6 columns and 150 records displayed it means that there are 150 rows there is one option here called metadata let's click on this the metadata gives these information name and it is showing the names of the column then type type is nothing but the data type of these columns and then size size of the data type and source so four information are available here five basically but fifth information is not available in our case in this excel sheet so name is there type size source and description okay so this is how you read one data in your excel sheet and then you analyze this data what is given here in the result window and you can preview the data in the workflow window so today you learned how to import data how to import how to drag a tool onto the canvas basically there are three methods by clicking on this double clicking on this then clicking by dragging this onto the canvas by right clicking insert and then by searching onto the search bar okay and by running on this run button you can run this workflow so it will give you the answers here here also you can see zero errors okay then zero warnings two messages one file if there will be error it will be shown here and in the next lecture we'll see what we can do with this input data after importing it that's it for this lecture thank you and we'll meet in the next lecture